Welcome back guys! Well, last week we left you on Sakintos and I promised to tell you a little bit more about the marine protected area over there. Right now we are sitting in Lefkada, which is next big island north of Sakintos and we are kind of stuck because the moving bridge is not so much moving right now but we are hoping to be off to Corfu tomorrow. Sakintos um, is the oldest marine national park, marine park in Greece and as such has been around for 20 years now 20 odd years and well of course we wanted to talk to the people who are actually working with and for the marine park and we did and they quite proudly presented us with a couple of facts so first off if you look at the southern end of Sarkintos it looks kind of like this so you have this big bay and in there they created the national park which is split up in three different zones so you got zone A, this corner here where basically everything is prohibited you can't go with a boat, you can't drop an anchor obviously you can't fish, you can't spear zone B, which is the majority of the bay which means uh, no anchoring, no fishing and then zone C still no fishing but you're allowed to anchor in certain times of the year so naturally we thought, great! big national park it's gonna look beautiful there now the thing is that almost all of this beach here which is a good part of all the beaches in this protected area is filled with clubs, discotheques um, yeah all sorts of establishments that are best passing music all night long there's lots of light pollution there so really if a turtle would hatch there it would get horribly confused which kind of raises the whole question of what the hell guys and we came across a person who told us a lot about their work that they have been doing there let's just say there's NGOs in Sakundos that do not entirely agree with the whole marine protected area approach um, he kindly asked not to be put in by name so let's just stick with that um, but they've been observing the populations of sea turtles in the area for a long time and while the populations of fish have been going up and also the sizes have gotten bigger so just from talking to the divers we, they must have bigger groupers there than we have seen anywhere else so far um, but he said for the turtles this is a Mickey Mouse job the busy hatching beaches are mostly busy with tourists and drunk people at night also Baby turtles are rather sensitive to noise and there's an airport right here so basically the planes are coming in super low which is absolutely crazy and the other thing is when a turtle hatches the sex of the turtle is depending on the temperature that it was bred in now all of this is basically one beach that's open to the south so he's saying all of this most likely are females because of the certain temperature arrangements in this bay and there's the north facing base here on this side of the island and this is where the males would come from however none of those are protected and in fact there's big clubs sitting right on them so yeah marine protected area great idea good approach but 
it has to be thought through and it has to be with the locals on your side otherwise it just doesn't properly work um, yeah so that was the few drops of advice and wisdom from the people that we talked to over there well the other side to the story of this is from the national park people what we understand is they do make full-on surveys every year and keep an eye on not just the turtles but also the, all the fish populations and the well all the life underwater really and according to them all the populations are increasing the sizes are increasing uh, it does not seem to make the area immune to invasive species though they do still have the rabbit fish so the protected area didn't help in terms of invasive species not for that particular one um, and they do say that the turtle populations went up in the last years. That being said, from the other side we heard that it takes 25 years for a turtle to come back to its breeding ground to breed for itself. So really, you gotta wait for another 5 to 10 years before it's possible to tell if the marine park effects really worked. And then I'm not aware of what the situation on the beaches was 20 years ago. So it might be that all these nightclubs just popped up in the last 10 years. So, really don't know. We also learned not just from the national park people, but also from the people from the dive centers, that for one, the amounts of echinoderms, so sea urchins, sea cucumber, like all the spiky, skinny things, uh, the numbers went down, which basically goes in line with everything that we heard on every stop so far. So those numbers are declining throughout the area. But, unlike most others, they said their seagrass is recovering really well. So whatever shift the protected area does, and I don't think it's just because no anchoring, it is definitely good for the seagrass. So that's good news. But I really want to go back there and do a nice map of the entire bay, which will keep us busy for a long time because it is pretty big okay other than that we made it on to Lefkada with a couple of stops in between we got a visit from our longest terms big supporters yeah it was my parents but they have been supporters of the project for a long time and now they finally came to actually see the boat and visit and they brought along a couple of nice little toys. So, for one, we are better connected to the internet. Alright, and that's about it. We are just hanging tight here, waiting for the bridge to open again. And then we're off to Corfu. So, next week you probably hear from us out of Albania, I would think. Okay, bye. <laughs>